Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this right now. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, um, and, and I might be a little choppy on this video too, and have to take deep breaths and all that shit, but we gonna get through it. Now look, someone wanted me to respond to the thing of um, Sean Gilmore, a good friend of mine, by the way, um, him having said that the breed started with Bulldogs. Uh, I think it's a tricky statement by Sean. And why I say I think it's tricky <clears throat> is, is that I don't believe that Sean is stating that the breed itself originated from a Bulldog. I think this, this statement, and I, I haven't talked to him about it, but I think the, the statement is a veil statement to say um, a vague statement, like to say that um, there were people who added Bulldog way back in the day into some of these dogs, which to that effect, I would not disagree with because anytime that you have a sport, you're gonna have cheaters. So do I believe that some people tried to sneak a little Bulldog in here? Yeah. Just like they tried to sneak a little Mastiff in some of these dogs, you know? They did what they did, paper hung the dogs and made the dogs, you know? Now, with all that being said, you know, um, the early dogs were not primarily Bulldog type of dogs. A lot of people were keeping the game fair and using a selective breeding process. This is why if you look back, the dogs that these Bulldog breeders nowadays try to clown those dogs looked very clean. They looked, you know, you hear people say they're too clean. We had that video yesterday and you see other people who talk about, uh, what do they talk about? Uh, oh, two terrier and those type of things. So at the end of the day, what it boils down to is, is that, uh, you know, it's, it's a different time. I had to keep all tapping this dude over here to be quiet, but, uh, <laughs> It's a different time, man. You know, back in the back in the day, people did keep the game fair. We, I've, ne I've never said that the game was a hundred percent sucker free back in the day, because like I say, anytime you got anything, somebody's gonna cheat. That's why you had the variations. But what I am holding on to is that I understand that it. We are not going to be fooled to believe that people have been doing what what these be people are doing right now anyway for 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 the last quarter century when the breed was getting off of his on his feet and getting going. I mean, there's something that's right in front of us that's very 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 um, simple. Why didn't the dogs look like these bulldogs 20 years ago? If you take a bulldog and you breed a bulldog to a bully looking dog or a terrier looking dog, the puppies are gonna come out with some of those bulldog features regardless. We're seeing this now. Sometimes it'll come out a little screwed up, but they want you to believe, you know, a lot of people want you to believe that these bulldogs were always there. For some reason, their genes were suppressed and it wasn't showing up strong. And all of a sudden now it just jumped out 25 years later. No, they're full of shit. This is this is this has been made very very simple. Uh, most of these dogs cannot pass a DNA test. They cannot. They will not. They they will not pass a DNA test. So with that being said, if they can't pass a DNA test um, to show their lineage and the different things, then we know what it is. We've seen the look change. Um, my thing is is to y'all is like man, try not to try not to get into a situation where you um you you know what I'm saying you make this too difficult you should be in a situation to where you're using your common sense and saying okay I seen a drastic change in the breed right here so this is something that happened they want to keep convince you of all these Jedi mind tricks and it's just not the case this breed was not started off with bulldogs the bulldog was not even a sexy option until the pocket was developed once the pocket was developed, that's when those influx of bulldogs came along. Because once the pocket was developed, you know what I mean? It was a different ball game. The XL game was pretty much dominated by Mastiff's uh, mixes. So you had the Doge de Bordeaux and 
the Neapolitan Mastiff and those type of dogs that they were mixing stuff with to create these 140 pound, 150 pound dogs. So well, and I'm talking about the really big weight pulling XLs, your Camelots and you know, the big blue lines and different things like that. You know, now when you talk about, you know, the other dogs, you can see a, a totally different look in the dogs, you know. Uh, you can see a totally different size, you know, um, with the say, for instance, edge dogs, which were bigger, but not like exaggeratedly bigger. You know, they were just a little bit bigger than the UK style, UKC style pit bull, which that would lead you more towards the uh, notion of um, of breeding, uh, you know, um, selective breeding. You're just breeding the, the dogs that uh, that max out on their size. You're breeding for more size, so you're keeping a look. But then when the pocket came along, and I, I've explained this a million times, you had a lot of taller, bigger dogs, and people came infatuated, as we've heard now. They got the micro and the micro mini pimps and all kind of shit that they selling. So the only way that you could do this to get to, to, to do it uh, now it wasn't the only way, but the way the only way that you could do this very very fast is to add a bulldog so that's why you saw an influx of the bulldog blood come in around 2007 that's you know that's a good time to pinpoint it when the dax era the miyagi era the, the, these dogs where they came in super super small you know what i mean it's it it, 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 it was what it was you know and um you know it, it it killed me because now what they do is is they sit there and they and they they just make up lie after lie after lie and this thing is simple and i, I don't think sean was going in that direction because i've heard him speak to the same effect that i'm speaking of now but i think what y'all have to uh, do is a lot of what a lot of people are doing is they're trying to validate um the nonsense that we see going on with certain dogs that we know are obviously mixes. We know it's a lot of paper hanging. We know it's a lot of health issues. So they are trying to validate those dogs by way of, uh, you know, finding people like Sean and saying, well, Sean said this or Dave said that or this or that or the other. And all I'm asking y'all to do is just use your common sense. Nobody, I don't care how long they've been in the game. Nobody has to tell you what happened with these dogs. You can look and see it. You can look at the, all of the evidence, the DNA tests that are failed and all the other things that are going on. You can look and see it. It's through. You know, I would like to tell you all it was something different, but it ain't nothing different. I would like to come up with some great, you know, theory to make this uh, even more simple. But the truth of the matter is, is that, nah, this breed didn't start with bulldogs. It started with, you know, staffies and pit bulls. And it was some good breedings going on. There was a lot of good, nice dogs that went on back there. Once greed was introduced, that's when you started to see all of a sudden all these big round headed, wrinkled up dogs, you know what I'm saying? Nine, uh, 9,000 pounds of muscle and bone and this and that and the other, whether it was from steroids or adding in, you know what I'm saying? They're bigger, more muscular cousins from bulldog breeds. That's what happened. It didn't start off like that. It didn't go like that for the first decade or nothing. It was just big, nice dogs and, uh, you know, and clean dogs. All of these health issues have been introduced and then a lot of that shit started 2007, 2008. A lot of that stuff was introduced. And as I said on the previous videos, it's done nothing but prove me right the whole way. Because no matter what the blood is, all of these dogs have had a history of dying. Not just arguing the look and the aesthetics of it, but these dogs die at the craziest rate ever. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get to talking about that type of type of vibe, you know, it's uh it's something that you really just can't uh you, you really can't you know, you can't take away from what's what, man. You know? Like I said, I got love for a lot of the OGs in the game. I got a lot, I definitely got a lot of love for Sean, but I do feel like as uh, quote unquote OGs in the game, we do have a responsibility to protect the integrity of what got us here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all wouldn't be tuning in to my page and listening to shit I had to say if it wasn't for an American bully, y'all wouldn't even know me. The reason why that people inviting me all over the world and wanting to see 
you know what I'm saying, see this uh, thing that I'm doing succeeding and, you know, buying t-shirts and showing all the love that they showing and sending me prayers and shit, you know, sometimes send me a couple bucks to help me out when I'm messed up with all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, they, y'all, people do that to show me that love because of these dogs, so I, I me, myself, I feel like I owe it to a Cairo or I owe it to uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, a Halley for sure. You know what I'm saying. I owe it to uh, all of the all of the dogs who paved the way and made these dogs popular. Because the funniest thing about it is, is I still got that connection. You know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, Cairo, he he wasn't no bulldog, man. You know, look at him. He wasn't no bulldog. Remy, that wasn't no bulldog, man. You know. And, and them dogs, man, you know, don't nobody know who the fuck Fabian was, you know what I'm saying? Didn't nobody know who Dave Wilson was. Just in all due respect, didn't nobody, you know what I'm saying? When I say nobody, I'm talking about the world like they know him now. You know, our names is ringing on every damn continent except for Antarctica. There might be a motherfucker there that know about us. And the thing about it is, you know what I'm saying, getting invited all over the world. But my, my, my thing of it is, is, you know, is that if you don't do nothing else, man, at least show love to what made your name. We can't disrespect what made us. Our dogs wasn't no fucking bulldogs. The American bully ain't no bulldog. We know what it is. The only thing is, is that a culture was created where more money is introduced for something else. So now we try to change the narrative. We want to go back and rewrite the bully Bible. You know, let's change the whole religion. That ain't really the way things work, man. You know? That ain't the way things work. And I ain't saying that about my brother, Sean. I know where his perspective is coming from. And he's, you know, somewhat on the diabolical side of, you know what I'm saying? This shit been a little bit dirty from the beginning, which I can agree with. It's been guys who, who screwed over shit from the beginning. But, hey, this wasn't what we was built on. We can't say the one out of 100 represent the breed because there was 99 other motherfuckers who was doing this shit the right way, going through the struggle, t taking one or two puppies out of a litter that was super teared up and making something happen with it, you feel me? So that that's that's all I'm gonna tell y'all, man. The American Bully is what we said it was. And what you're seeing now is the shit show, the clown show, all this shit being added in. People don't even wanna do DNA tests. And more importantly, these dogs is dying at a fast rate and they still trying to jack up the price. It's nothing more than a pyramid scheme. It ain't even a sport no more. You know, it ain't even a sport no more. But it is what it is, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, hopefully, I'll be on live next week. I do feel myself getting stronger, uh, lungs getting stronger, and all that. So uh, y'all watch out, man. And uh, me and my uh, me and my minions, we might do a video later where we get to talk our shit. But um, man, I just thank y'all. You know, I don't know. I think one of the videos I made yesterday I got a little emotional. But uh, you know, all of this is a life. Uh, Sort of, sort of make you think about life, you know what I mean? It really do when you think about the fact of these boys, boy. Y'all better stop. Y'all not boys. It's always the little one, man. But, you know, it, 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 just just to, um, like I say, not, not, on the, not on the me side. I've been injured and broke up before, but just to think about the possibilities and knowing that, you know, an hour later that a woman lost her life and, you know, like I say, I, the physical struggles, I do that, but it was, it's the mental struggles that sort of not um, hurt and help at the same time because I, I feel renewed and refreshed to do this thing the right way. God been blessing me through people in different ways the whole way. A lot of things is working out real lovely, man. So, you know, I thank y'all. I'm going to keep on thanking y'all, man. And uh, we about to do some real things, man. For those who actually do care about the American bully and ain't clout and money chasing, we about to do some real things. Till next time, y'all. Much love.